We're excited, certainly, uh, but we understand we got a lot of work to do. Um, you know, year one was a great year to get everybody's attention, but now the real work uh, begins, and that is consistency. And, and building off what we did last year, we must be successful on the field or we take a step back. So a lot of excitement, but also a lot of focus in knowing how important year two is. Tomorrow you open camp, and in the past kind of training camps, whether it's bowl practice or spring practice or fall practice, has been installing the offense. That's no longer really a topic of conversation. What do you need to see those first couple of days now that everything's installed, you know what you got? Well, I think skill development. You know, we don't, by NCAA rules, have a lot of time with our players. As you know, all summer they've been with Coach Longo and strength and conditioning, getting bigger, faster, stronger. We only had two weeks with them in April for spring ball. Other than that, they haven't had the opportunity to develop their skills. So skill development and giving our coaches an opportunity to really work with offensive linemen and DBs and linebackers is so, so important. So that's that's the first job for our guys. Secondly, um, you know, football preparedness, you know, getting the system and the schemes down because they've got a pretty good idea. But we'll focus, you know, the first week to 10 days on our skill development. Quarterback situation, obviously, hit media day. You said Dustin Grutza is your starter as of right now. How important is it that that hasn't been a distraction for this team? Well, we had to because we didn't want to get to this. You know, we didn't want to get to not having a decision on Ben and his appeal for an extension of the five-year rule. So uh, Dustin took the snaps as the number one. Uh, we gave him some competition, and he proved to be um, – better because of that and now we go into the off or into the preseason and his off season was better than last year so our kids feel real comfortable with a, a senior quarterback who knows our system and who's a veteran in the big east so uh, ben mock comes back it won't be like the brett Favre situation he'll be our starter if he doesn't we've got a great one in dustin grutza i mean i don't know if i would have handled it quite as well as he did where ben mock comes in and kind of takes the position from him after being the incumbent and handled himself very well. That's where the respect comes in. He's gained everybody's respect, coaches, players alike. So we feel really confident in his ability to go and lead because he's got all the players that are going to watch his back. And he's got some experienced players now around him. Ben didn't have that. So I think Dustin's is in even a better situation because he's got great respect. The players know him. They didn't know Ben last year. It took a little while for that to come. And he's got more experienced players around him. That's why I think he'll do very well. Long road for Demetrius Jones, obviously, getting here, then having surgery, then fighting his way back, actually playing in the spring game and seeing some good things. How's the rehab been for him, and how far along is he? Uh, he's he's making great progress. He's not there yet. He, he needs to continue to to work to get stronger. We'll, we'll probably be careful with the amount of throws. He'll be on a pitch count, if you will. Uh, but he's making really good progress, and we all know what kind of athlete he is. He's also a great leader. So uh, we're pretty fortunate that we've got a number of quarterbacks, whether it be Demetrius Jones or Chaz Anderson, Zach Kolaris, Tony Pike. Don't forget about him. I know he's he feels like there's a numbers game out there, but – all these quarterbacks are, are guys that we can count on, and it'll just be the guy that gets the opportunity, needs to make the best of it. Brian Kelly, way surround yourself with as many talented quarterbacks as you can, and you know you'll be in a good situation. Well, yeah, I guess you could look at it that maybe we've got one or two that are too many, but uh, a lot of these guys uh, can come in and, and maybe uh, contribute in other ways as well. Demetrius Jones is a guy that you want to get the ball in his hands, and not that he's going to play wide receiver, but uh, there, there could be some plays where you're going to have to defend him from that quarterback position, and he's a tough guy to defend. So I think we've got enough room for all of them. Um, somebody's going to have to step up and take the job. Dustin Groots has got it. Those other guys are going to have to take it from him. This practice starts tomorrow. Obviously, your quarterback's going to be handing it off a lot. They're going to be throwing it a lot. Who are some of the skill guys on offense that you're really going to be keeping an eye on that first week? Well, you know, again, you always got to coach and develop. You know, Dominic Goodman obviously had a very good year for us. We need to continue to develop him. Um, Marcus Barnett was a was a was a freshman. Um, so, I don't want to lose sight of the the, the veterans that we have. Got to get better. But some young guys like an Armand Benz, you know, who's had a great off season from what we heard today from Coach Longo. Uh, we'll get a chance to see him more. Uh, DJ Woods, uh, a freshman coming in. Uh, I think the reports have been outstanding. Uh, Nick Truesdell from, from locally from Anderson High School and Danny Milligan from St. X. So we think we've got a nice stable of wide receivers. I think those guys are all going to have a chance to compete right away. You mentioned some of the freshman names there. How many freshmen do you think, can you even speculate right there, of your class are going to be able to contribute come August 28th? 
Well, I think we'll look at some of the skill players, uh, none of the linemen on, on either side of the ball, uh, with maybe the exception of Derek Wolf, uh, is physically able to play at this time. It's going to take a little bit more time. We're really happy with the progress of Evan Davis from Coleraine High School, but those guys are, uh, you know, they're not at the level. You know, we've got five offensive linemen and five defensive linemen lifting over 400 pounds right now. So to get to that level, it requires a, a maturity. But the skill players, the Woods, the Truesdale, the Milligans, um, you know, um, battle on defense. Uh, there's some guys that have the skill level that don't need to bench 400 right now that got a better chance to play. Defense, you spend a lot of time with the defense in the spring. There's a lot of guys on defense who have a heck of a lot of talent coming back. How exciting is that unit as a whole? Well, it's it's very exciting, but on the other hand, we got to keep them all uh, involved. Uh, you know, we've we probably got seven legitimate first team all Big East kind of players. If you if you look at our secondary, um, you know, corner and safety. You know, we we feel like we've got three and four deep. You know, if you look at not deep, but three and four and Mickens and Underwood and D'Lo, and then it's safety Tolbert and and Webster and Fry and Brad Jones. I mean, there's a lot of good football players, and they're all going to play. And and we just got to do a good job of keeping developing our talent and giving them an opportunity to play. Mike Mickens, a leader for this defensive unit? Well, I think I think he's, without question, a leader. Um, nice part about it, he doesn't have to do it by, by himself. D'Angelo Smith, another senior leader. Uh, said Tolbert, senior leader. Um, that's the nice part about it is that Mike doesn't have to be out there by himself. He's got other seniors around him, which, you know, if you look at it last year, you know, we had a couple last year, but Haruki was really the only senior back there. And uh, so, you know, it, it's great to have depth, but it's also great to have senior leaders. And Mike Mickens is certainly one of them, but he's got some guys surrounding him too. Last year when you had your few practices at Nippert Stadium, then you went to higher ground, didn't really know what you were getting into. You were very impressed by everything out there. You actually extended your stay. You'll spend two weeks weeks how important is that two weeks for this team well it's good because we know where they are you know and when you come in and, and you're on campus and, and, and it's hard to police all the things that you need to police on a day-to-day -day basis it's nice that you know you got them all together under one roof it gives them a chance to develop uh, as a football team you know obviously they're going to be in one place and they're not going to go anywhere for two weeks and I, I think that's a good preseason camp you know we've added technology out there that we didn't have last year we've got some wireless capabilities we're analog last year that helps obviously just a great facility and it'll give us an opportunity to come together as a football team because you know new years uh, new personalities uh, new things that you got to work on so higher ground will give us that opportunity